Well, I'm Raina, Raina Fahey. Um, I'm a craftivist, I'm a mother, I'm a cross-stitcher, and I'm about coming up with creative solutions for the crises that we face on this planet. We are cross-stitching I Want to Live Here on a fence. I've got them all pretty much rolled up, so they'll start off being quite easy to do. I Want to Live Here, yeah, which is a, a strong theme for me because it's, I think it's just morally abhorrent that we can have homelessness and we can have all this vacant land lying around not doing anything and the people that are that own it are just speculating off it. I just think that's just revolting and should be resisted at all at all costs. So we want to do um, little actions that we can to highlight these issues and um, get people more aware of the this invisible problem, you know, they like to put up fences so we can't see what's what's really going on. Adding wool to a fence not only does that say whatever the fence, you know, whatever it is, the text that I'm writing on the fence, but it also really challenges the idea about what fences should be for. Because fences are for restricting access. As I say, I don't like fences, and I particularly don't like fences when they're keeping people who don't have anywhere to live away from somewhere where they could live. I mean, this site that we are um, doing our little crafty intervention on, if you put townhouses on here, you could easily house 10 people on here. And this is just one small site. This part of Footscray is perfect. The advertised vacancy rate is about 1%. The actual vacancy rate, if you go around and you actually count up all of these pieces of land like this one and count up all the empty houses, which are pretty obvious, the actual vacancy rate is about 11%. We actually went to a rental inspection, I'd say a kilometre from here, about a year ago when we were looking for somewhere to live. We watched 40 people stand in a line in the hail waiting to look at this house all the other inspections that we were going to in that in that area at that time people were bidding on the properties not like an auction as in I'm going to buy the house but I'm going to bid as to how much I'm going to rent the house for so there's one house that we saw that we really really loved we fell in love with it, it was just perfect we offered another $20 a week rent and we offered to pay six months rent in advance and we had a baby and we still didn't get a look in <laughs> it's just the market is just in such an atrocious state of affairs so yeah, we're doing some cross stitch and we've got some banners. <laughs> we're having fun. So much money is being made by people just taking the easy way and speculating off land. It's been going on for far too long and something needs to be done about it.